This is a dual speed motor that I salvaged from a washing machine and I would like to explain the process of wiring it so it can be used. Most of the information that I had needed was found on a website called physicsforum.com. It had exactly the same model motor that I had, and one user named Jim Hardy provided all the useful points to get this completed. So thank you very much Jim Hardy. These next two pictures here are basically all that was needed. Seeing this picture here again I believe that the first group is the starter winding while the second is the run winding. I am only a hobbyist so my explanation might have some errors otherwise I hope that I am correct in interpreting what's going on. Using the multimeter I discovered that there were two groups of windings that had continuity with each other. Black, red, and purple were one group and the other was yellow and orange, blue and white. Both each have one common winding that is connected to the capacitor that is being purple and yellow. I understand the blue and white wires to be the high and low speed windings. Red and black then are the start windings which can be connected together along with one of either the high or low speed wires. These all then join with the live or neutral wire from the power cable, I went ahead and chose neutral. I don't think it matters with AC current. Then the live wire connects with the orange joined together with a thermal switch. For the most part this is all that was needed to get the motor working and if I wanted to have both speeds be accessible by switch then I could use a DPDT switch accessing both the high and low speed windings. Now I know that there are some people that would simply without the details be told what to do to get the motor running. The most straightforward description I can give is to wire black, red, and white together with one of the power cables. If you would like the high speed then connect the blue wire to the black, red, white, and one power cable all together would be the high speed. These drawings that I have made shows all this along also with this part of the video showing the wiring. I know that sometimes I'd like to know just how to get the job completed without having to understand all the intrinsic mechanisms regarding the subject. Finally I show the motor running. Obviously I need to do this job over with a bit more care before using it for a project but this is good enough to have been able to see that it works. Hopefully I could help and I am open to being corrected on the things I've stated if I wasn't accurate in the explanation.